Welcome back to Fox 9 Sports Primetime. And a lot of people during this swoon of the last part of the season for the Gophers have been questioning whether Tubby Smith returns. Trent, what has to happen for Tubby to stay on? Anything? Does he have to win a game and still can come back? Or does he have to advance? Well, when you win, it always helps. But anytime you, you have a new guy who comes in and, and takes over and, and he's in charge. Yeah, Norwood Teague you're talking about. So you, you have no idea which direction he's going to go in. You know, but, you know, Tubby and his team now, they have a chance to prove themselves, to show how good they are. And this basketball team has talent, and we know they can win. We've seen them beat some good teams this year. During the non-conference season, they got off to a great start. They started the Big Ten season up the right way. They right. knock off Michigan State. You know, they go on the road, they beat Illinois. You know, they beat Indiana. You know, they were able to knock off the Badgers. So we know that from a talent standpoint, this team can play at a very high level. We are just hoping as Gopher fans, we said that on Friday against UCLA. All right, now we know the kind of pressure that Tubby's under, but this week during the Illinois game, uh, if people follow Flip Saunders on Twitter, he started basically coaching the Gophers <laughs> via Twitter. These are some of the tweets he put out there during the game. Does this, is this him putting his resume in front of Norwood Teagues? Here's how I would have won that Illinois game for you? You know, I, I see this <laughs> as Flip being an analyst. You know, you know, giving his fans an opportunity to look inside the game, you know, from his from his uh, viewpoint. You know, Flip has been around the game for a very long time. He's been a coach for a very long time. And right. He really likes this team. He likes this program, and he wants them to do very well. All right, last thing, the big deciding factor is this class coming up in Minnesota, Tyus Jones headlining the group. How important is it to decide your head coach with these guys? Do you wait for them to make their decision, or do you make your decision before they commit? Well, no, I, I mean, if you have, you know, a guy in, in, in mind that you think can come in and do the job, or if you like the guy who is already here, but then you have to make that decision on, based on what you feel is going to move the program in the right direction because kids can change their minds every single day. One guy can commit today, but then by tomorrow he's decided he's going to go somewhere else. So I believe if you're the AD and you're the head guy in charge, you're going to have to make a decision based on who you think can lead your program in the right direction. All right, Trent, thanks very much for stopping thanks, by. Jim. Thanks for the knowledge, and we'll talk to you on Timberwolves tonight, coming up Saturday night on My29.